Hi, and welcome to 3DMotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating polygons in Topagun. Topagun is this program, as you see. This is the interface for it. It's a fantastic standalone program where you can take something that's super high res and you can retopologize the model pretty quickly and make yourself a game resolution model or something for a cinematic or whatever. This particular head is about 870,000 polygons. Obviously we can't use it for a whole lot, but uh, if we recreate it in a low res mesh, we can reproject details in ZBrush or in any other number of programs and make it look like it is as complicated as this when it's really not. All right, let's go ahead and g g jump into this, take a look at it. Uh, the left alt, of course, rotates around, middle alt pans, and right alt zooms in and zooms out. It's the same controls as Maya. So if you're a Maya user, this will be really easy for you. If you're a Max user, well, it's just a little, little bit of a learning curve for you, just to remember those three, all right? So when you open up Topagun, you get this interface. You have your tools palette right here, and you can just click and move it around. You can move it off screen if you need to. So that's there, and then this is this is the little tool set which allows us to do the simple edit where we can select our vertices, edges, or whatnot. This is our simple create button. It's where we're going to create our vertices that make up our polygons. We have the draw tool which allows us to literally draw on the model to create polygons. The bridge tool which will bridge and create the faces in between vertices and you'll see that in just a minute. The tubes tool we won't get into for this particular tips and tricks. Uh, we also have the brush tool we're not going to get into that and the extrude tool and again we're not getting into that not for this particular tips and tricks. We want to focus on just the, the simple creation of uh, the polygons and what we can do with them. Alright so let's just go ahead and zoom in a little bit First thing we need to do, of course, is click on our tool, the simple create. And imagine, if we will, we're just going to create the vertices that are going to create our polygons. Now I'll go up and do this one. Of course, you want topology to follow what your model is looking like. So I'm just you know, keeping edge loops in mind. And I'm just making sure I create the right number of vertices, which is four across as all of these. That way everything will, will coordinate very nicely. In fact, if I want, I can go ahead and seal this one edge by holding my control key down. As you see, as my cursor gets close to that one vertice, it turns red. That means it's snapping too. So I can just click there, and as you can see, it actually drew the line right in there. All right, Pretty quick, pretty easy. Now I can get the bridge tool, and I just can, as you see, it wants to draw the lines for us. So it'll actually do it as, the tri as triangles if you want, or as full polygons, just depends on what you want to do. So I just click, 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 and that's with my left mouse. Or I can click and drag, and click and drag. So there we go. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. Now one of the things that I like to do with this uh, when I'm modeling is I tend to keep something kind of spaced like this, but I also show students an easier way to even do something like this because this way we have three edge loops in one direction, four edge loops or four rows this this way vertically and three horizontal. All right. With this of course we can get to the simple edit and as you can see right now we have verts, edges and faces selected so it wants to move any one of these. As you can see they highlight. If I click a vertice I can just click it and move and we can click and move that one around, move it around as I need to. I can do the edge. If you click the edge and then you can then now, of course, move it around as you want to. Or the same with the face. There's a center point. Once it, the whole face turns red, you can click on it and then click again to turn around and move it as you need to. All right. As of right now, I'm just going to grab them all and hit delete. We're going to go back to the simple edit. And again, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to start with one, two, three, four, five. So five vertices. Now I'm going to click the Make Faces. Now when I select this, as you can see, I'm now creating the faces on the fly. I always start the first one off, the first line off with uh, nothing. 
and then turn on the make faces. If you if you do it the other way, if you try and start right off the bat, it gets confused as to where the line is supposed to be, where you're shooting for. So always start the first line and then turn on the make faces if you want. Okay. I can then of course go in here if I I can rearrange this a little bit if I want to. If I don't like these edges here that triangulate, I can literally click on it and hit delete. And that now that becomes just a simple quad, a simple polygon. It's so one error right in here. I can go ahead and delete that. All right, so there we go. Very, very quick, very simple. I'm going to go once ahead and grab these. Again, now what I like to do, especially when I'm modeling, I'm, I tell students you don't have to add each and every edge loop in there. You could do it. You could do this a couple different ways. Let me turn off the make faces. What you can do is go one, two, three, four, five, and then all the way up here, one, two, three, four, five. Hold your control key and snap. Now obviously that's going to be a real stretch. If sometimes in fact if you it goes too far, the bridge tool really doesn't want to to work really well with that because you can see it goes beyond its tolerance. It only goes so far and then just doesn't understand where you're trying to go to. So that's when you go back to the simple create. Hold your control key down right off the bat. Make sure that the vertices is red and then snap and snap. Then click into the edit, go back into the create and snap and snap. All right? And unfortunately, you have to keep switching in and out of the tools. I, I bet they'll probably do something about that in the, the next iteration. It would certainly be handy. But as you can see, it really, right in here, you can see how it's really not following the topology of this head now because there's such a, a large stretch here. But that's one of the nice things. You can do a quick build like this, then go into your simple edit, select just the vertices, or edges, I'm sorry, double click them, and now I can click this button right here, connect. So you can see it just added in an edge loop for me. You can do it again. And then say one more time. And very quickly, very easily create polygons where it's going to go right, right where it needs to. By only starting the, the one whole set, I can now break it up as I need to and create all the edges I want. Of course, if I wanted to, I can go back to my simple... Uh, simple create if I needed to split these even farther and let's say I don't want to split them via the connect maybe I'm going to split them a certain way or connect them up what you can do is you can hold your shift key down as soon as you hold your shift key your edge will turn red and that's letting you know okay start here so I can click on that and as long as I'm holding my shift key I can now go from edge to edge and simply add in polygons as I need to of course I can do it this way I can do oops and that's another thing. Remember your last point, switch out, and then go back to the simple create. It, the simple create is great, but it wants you to follow one whole line of whatever it is, verts or edges or whatnot. As soon as you switch to go do something else, it's going to remember your last point, and it'll actually start it again. So what you want to do is you want to switch out to the edit, go back into the create, and again, I can hold my shift key, and I can click, click, Click. Let's say I wanted to snap this ver this vertice to that vertice. I don't want to cut this edge. I can now go literally from shifting to hold my control key and snap it, and I've got vert to vert. Okay. Again, I can do it this way: shift, 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 vert, vert with control. So very quick, very easy. All right. Lastly, what I could do, and by the way, I just deleted all the edges because I only had the edges selected. You want to make sure you grab your edges and verts to delete them. One of the last things I'll show you really quickly is the draw tool. Now, the draw tool gets a different set of tools right here. What it does is it's going to allow you to literally draw lines. Okay, so I'm going to draw these lines here. Okay. And yes, it's straight lines, but, but the tool that you're actually using that with isn't the greatest for that, but that's okay. So I want to grab across here. And you want to make sure that you've got these intersections because these intersections, these overlays, are where the, the polygons are going to be created, not these outside edges here. 
if you like doing the draw tool, you, let's assume you're done, you can now do the evaluate. And there you go. It just gave you your polygons. You can now do a clear all. And now you're strictly just dealing with polygons and vertices just like before. Okay. So a couple of quick, easy ways to create polygons in using Topogun. And you can actually model the entire model just that quickly uh, using something like this. Okay, I hope you've had fun with this. This has been 3dmotive.com, and my name's Stephen G. Wells. Thank you very much for watching.